Hi, this is Asima with another tip for Star Trek Fleet Command. Here's a quick tip for transporter patterns. How can I get transporter patterns every day? In this video, I'll show you how. So first off, what are transporter patterns? So when you earn the maximum number of office shards for an officer, uh, you stop getting shards and instead, either get officer XP or transporter patterns. So you get officer XP for common and uncommon officers, but rare and epic officers get transporter patterns. So uh, commons like the first ones you get um, in the game, like next gen data, instructor Spock, those are commons. But when you max them out, then you'll just get officer XP, which is okay. But what you really want are the transporter patterns. And so when you start maxing out uh, uh, the, the blue officers or the purple officers, instead of getting officer XP, you get transporter patterns. So if you come to the recruit tab here, scroll to the end, you'll start getting these things. These are called transporter patterns. And transporter patterns don't appear until you've earned the max number of shards. So usually this happens in the late 20s, if you are targeting officers to level, or if you're just playing generally um, and not targeting a specific officers, usually in the early 30s. I got mine in the early 30s. And you want transporter patterns because it's a very targeted way to get useful officers instead of the random pulls from the recruit chests. Um, the ultra, just, just an, even uh, a recruit uh, a tip here, the ultra recruit um, officers, once you get past a certain point, I believe it's Ops 30, the pool of officers just balloons and it, it becomes very difficult to target uh, a certain officer that you want. So when you do a recruit, uh, ultra recruit poll, you're basically just, you know, you're just trying to get lucky. There are so many officers. So transporter patterns are a way of being very targeted in getting your officers. Not all officers are in transporter patterns, but there are a lot of useful ones. So for example, uh, Devon Attendee is great lower deck officer and she gives you hull health. Uh, we have like John Luke Picard. Um, he's a good captain for a second hostile farming crew. Uh, we have Jordy LaForge. Uh, Jordy is Jordy and Riker. Here's Riker. Riker is good for armadas. You have uh, six of 11 at the end here. Here we go, six of 11. So if you don't have six of 11, you can pick him up. He's a, he's a great armada officer. Um, if you need uh, officers for mining, so they just added Quark at the front here. They had just added Quark. He increases your uh, uh, your mining speed. You have four of eleven and three of eleven. Where are they here? Might have passed them. But there's four of eleven and three of eleven that also increase um, mining speed and cargo speed. Um, if you are a raider, you can uh, pick up rom shards, so it's great for a station raiding. And uh, as well as officers, great for increasing your, uh, their officers, um, great for increasing the critical uh, success in rainbow away missions like uh, Nero and Charvenek. So you don't have Nero. Nero is a great pickup. Nero here. Charvenek um, is great for, uh, again, for those uh, rainbow away team missions. So there's a whole bunch. There, there are a, a lot of very good, um, very good officers in transporter patterns.
So now transporter patterns are all well and good, but how can I get these transporter patterns uh, in, in a regular way, like a daily way? So if you do pulls from the recruit tab, like I said before, it's all random. So you might get, you know, a chance to get a, uh, a transporter pattern if a certain officer is already maxed out, but that's not a very predictable way. So this is where the value of the augment faction comes back into play. Um, so the augment faction is one of the first extra factions other than your Federation Klingon Romulan that you start you start off with. And usually augment the augment faction, you max out the reputation. There really isn't anything else for you to do past the late 20s. They have the hijacked ships, but um, you know, the hijacked ships aren't really recommended because you can't scrap them and they really lose their relevancy pretty quick. So what what is the purpose for for continuing to um, mine uh, the data uh, in for augments? And the value comes in with these awoken augment recruits. Okay, so uh, if you if you get your data, you get your credits, and then you can use the credits to take a look to get these three rare officers. You have Navi, Pan, and Rima. They're not really useful on, on a ship, but once you max them out like this, right? They're maxed out. When you do a chest pull, because they're maxed out, you will get transporter patterns. And you can do this every day. So you can get transporter patterns every day, and that's where the value of the augment store is later on. Uh, you can do this with, um, there's also the, the regular augment recruit, but since they have like Katie, Otto, and, and Joaquin uh, are greens, I mean, you'll have a chance of, uh, of getting officer XP. So it's a lot easier just to pull from the uh, awoken augment recruit. Um, you can, if you're past 30 and you have the Mantis and you have the Mantis refinery, you can also do this with the Mantis refinery, um, because you can do your Actium Venom to hull fragments, and then you can regularly pull your, uh, Strange New Worlds officers, and all the Strange New Worlds officers are either epic or rare, so once they're maxed out, you will uh, get uh, transporter patterns too. But the earliest way to get transporter patterns is through the augment store. So uh, using transporter patterns uh, to get and tear up important officers can help you in all areas of gameplay, especially in those essential rainbow away missions. Uh, but that's a topic for another video. And thanks for watching.